can stack up to Geek Fam's early game, but we'll have to see the execution. Counter index shows that it favors Onik. Is it a counter index we trust kind of scenario? But either way, we're gonna get another assassin game from Kyrie. The last of this series, the conclusion to this series. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Land of Dawn for the last game between Geek Fam and Onik. All right, looking at the emblems, it's gonna be Impure Rage on Beloyski, so no focusing mark. He won't be trying to set up for pickoffs. He wants to have the extra bit of damage, the extra bit of mana regeneration. That's a good Vital Requiem onto Ray, and now they disengage completely. Expecting, but Sans goes in for a diversion play. Uh-oh. Luke. Once he's in range. Oh, there you go. Spatial migration, Vital Requiem, everything wow. in the kitchen sink. The whole kitchen. <laughs> the whole kitchen, but there's a mirror play on top. Same thing happening up top, CW dodges the initial shield, Unity has a battle mirror image to pop in back again, but he gets immobilized, he does pop it back, CW weak side, oh, the mythical oh. creature, but oh. migration and the battle requiem to stop him here, hard guard really used up, he boy, gonna find the kill on Luke, and again, Geek Fam have not gone for the turtle, it's still only now being started up, Onik can actually go through this fight, Luke P is trying his best to delay it, Kyrie's walking again, and it's gonna be Ray who wins it out this time. Lupi very low, walking back. He boy. Oh, Chidera. Oh, he pops the spatial migration. I think he had, he thought he had a flicker. CW with blazing duet now. All the Chidera, not enough damage to take him down, not just yet. As, as an astral echo. So lock him down just a bit. Lupi went in, flickers backwards, and now it's Kyrie to go for the execute. Misses one cable and will not be able to go for more. Luke, though. As the bravest fighter jumps onto Sans, has the sun canceled Ooh. out, not canceled this time. Now it's Sans, who's going to get obliterated up top. Wow, it looked like Onik was just winning it out. A lot of damage. Ray now makes the play go in. Good cancel on the spatial migration, but he gets it back in time. He goes for it. Oh, Kyrie! Ooh. Interesting play from Kyrie. Whoa! Ooh, my God, one more shot. Kyrie. You are taking a gamble, man. Oh my god. He gambled on his skills. And I don't know if it paid off. Not just yet. Geek fam. Now the shield in the back again. That's a spatial migration into a vile requiem. Oh. Two members knocked up. And Lupi is so low. Chidera goes for the damage, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, and the brace is right at the bait. And Kyrie wins it out. CW also distracting. How did Onik come out on top in that fight? The claim back. Geek fam overextended to try and secure the kill on Lutfi. How did he survive, man? The P-Boy goes back in. Again with a battle wreck. Quim Kyrie two levels ahead. Will take it easily this time. And now Luke, bravest fighter. We've seen him do crazy things before. He's doing it again. P-Boy flickering out. Luke, no bravest fighter to play for, but still a, an Angela behind him. The fight was so chaotic. Somehow, some way, on they find a way to come out on top of Loiski. P-Boy again. That's a lockdown on the Chidero, the Vile Requiem, and CW is like, hey! And the back fights out, boy! And Onik again, off of a distraction from the team, gets a kill through Kyrie in the other side. It's almost like Onik's specialty, man. The fact that they are still in a team fight together, but there's so many things happening. They're overloading Geek Fam, a team that's so used to going with a linear team fighting style. When they have to fight off one big ultimate, they always do well, but now they're struggling. Even Beloisky seems lost on who the heck is he supposed to put the hard guard on? Yeah, the scatter, the brain scatter coming through now because Onik making it so chaotic. They're going to be able to get a turret down in the t bottom side, so that's another objective secured by Onik. Kyrie has been having a great time actually, previously 4 0 0, now 5 0 0. Absolutely no one. But yeah, it happens seven. It has there's seven technical options for the Roger. He's going for attack speed, corrosion, DHS. Definitely not the build we have seen. Oh, Kyrie! Oh my dude, dude. Uh -oh. he's gambling onto this and he's oh. gonna be able to escape Kai. Kyrie! Oh, not oh. this time. It's Ray who finds the kill, and now a hard guard. The high risk, high reward play from Kyrie has gone. Down. This was to get that blue away from Kyrie. He's low though. Still trying to escape now. Cutthroat finds it. The kill for Lutpi though. The Bravest Spider still onto the back with the Astral Echo. But the, bla the Blazing Duet gets used up. Oh, the stun from Luke. One more shot should be enough. But CW gets. Now they're just changing their focus. They're centralizing on the Lord. 
Kyrie's gonna go in for a steal. No purple buff, but he is three levels ahead. Ray goes in, and it's Kai! And in the back is a diversion! Ray, shield unity, now onto Sans, and he is all alone. Kyrie with no purple buff picks up a Special migration only landing onto one right now. Luke does the same thing to those back line. Kyrie in 1v1 gets Shadera down and escapes. Look, beat him into it all. Now on Fraser's Wrath, Luke finds a stun, but will fall to the Blazing Duet. CW also traded back here with Sans getting a back, a kill back as well. Spatial Migration into the battle, oh. right behind the Sans! With a double kill, Beloy, he's only just an Angela and a diversion. Where is it heading? <laughs> What's the base? Hey, Sans, not like that, brother. Not now. But this is a 4-2-0 trade. Beloyski, the little girl on Angela. That's the only one who can defend left standing. There's a wave in the mid side. Can he do it? No, he cannot. Good awareness by Onik to wait for the mini waves to disperse before going for the end. Two to one. Onik secure.